let's cook my mouth smacking coconut rice. <laughs> I know you have tasted different types of coconut rice, but you say this particular coconut rice, it will be unfair if you do not recreate it for your family this festive period. For this recipe, it is highly recommended you use extra virgin coconut oil and what we are just doing here is flavors. We are building flavors for this rice because I do not have any meat stock for this particular recipe. That's why I'm trying to build a whole lot of flavors right now. So do not let this get burnt. Just toss it till the ingredients, the spices releases its flavor and aroma before going in with my properly washed jasmine rice. I fry this till I'm sure that the spices have sticked to the rice and what this does it does is that it leaves your rice grains fluffy and delicious grain by grain. After frying this for a while, you will notice this nutty flavor that will, you know, <laughs> fill your whole kitchen. Then you know it is time to go in with your coconut milk and then just a little water because it's not the water that cooks the rice but the heat. Yes, so you go in with that, stir this till it's perfectly combined and then cook this under a tight fitted pot. In 30 minutes, our rice is ready. I then allow this cool down. Why? Because if you start cooking your vegetables with the rice at this point, the rice grains will start breaking. So allow your rice cool down before adding them to the vegetable. Here I just saute all my vegetables with seasoning cubes and salt. That's because you want the vegetables to have some taste in them. Before going in with my rice and spring onions. Oh, deliciousness. If you have not liked this video, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, then you are missing. Thank you so much for watching my beautiful people. I remain delicious army. Season greetings my lovelies. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.